didn't hurt afterwards when I was just sort of walking. Like it was, I couldn't walk on it fine, but it did really hurt when I put pressure on it. So when I got home, my parents decided that we should go to the emergency room just to make sure that nothing's broken or fractured. So we got three x-rays of my foot, but the doctor decided that they're going to treat it as if it were a fracture because sometimes you can't see the fracture right away. You have to wait a week and then they'll take another x-ray of it and you'll get to see like calcium deposit. So if there is a fracture, we'll get to see that calcium deposit. In a week, we are going to go in again, get the x-ray done, and then see if I need to put a cast or something or a boot on it, but I don't think anything is fractured. It feels fine, like if I move it around like this, it hurts, but it's just a little bit of pain. It's sort of like when you have a bruise. So actually where he ended up stepping on me, I'll just demonstrate on my right foot since you obviously can't see my left foot, is just right here. So I have been like hobbling around on one foot. I'm actually just too lazy to use my crutches around the house because I always have to find a place to put them down. So I end up just running or hopping around on my right foot. So I guess I'll just do like a quick little taming update on the little one. So Bambi, he's doing pretty well. Um, he just is pretty shy of me picking him up out of the cage, but after I get him out, he's pretty good. You can tell that he's sort of like a little bit more nervous. He still has to get used to things. He is a baby, so it's understandable that he's still getting introduced to all these new things. But his fur has grown so much since I got him. When I first got him, his fur was just like little tufts, and now it's like getting these long locks in there. Tink is actually doing very well with taming. And that is just kind of what I thought would happen since she is winter way and how she acted at the store. She was very, very nice. Oh, baby. There you go. But she is very vocal. She's a squeaker. If I accidentally wake her up, she'll squeak. If she doesn't want to be picked up, she'll squeak. If she doesn't want to be pet, she'll squeak. She is a little, little diva. But, you know, once she gives me that warning squeak, then I leave her alone. So she's not a biter, which is good. And here is Benji. There isn't really much to update you guys about him. He is just shedding a ton. I mean, look at that bum and all of that fur. And I do try to brush him and take the fur out, but he often, like, does not like it when I brush him. Yeah, you don't like it when I try to take that fur out of you. You don't like to do it yourself or do it naturally or something, hmm. Well, I don't want to make this vlog too long, so anyways, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!